Hi guys, I'm Putsi and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my vlog. This is not going to be a very productive vlog. This is going to be more chill because if you saw my last vlog, I said I had some neck problems and it actually got worse. I went to see a doctor, got some medicine. It's been two weeks since I filmed that vlog actually and I'm so so glad that my neck and shoulders finally feel a lot better now but I'm still a little bit sore and still taking it very easy which is why this is going to be a more chill kind of vlog it's in the middle of the day already but I'm just going to give you a little bit overview of what I've done so far so I woke up around 6.15, 6.30 in the morning but I was still very very sleepy and I didn't have much energy so I just lay down on my bed for like 30 minutes around 7 a.m. I finally have the energy and the first thing I drink every single morning is I take a cup of warm water with apple cider vinegar, a dash of cinnamon and a teaspoon of honey. And then I had some almond milk and a toast, wet bread with peanut butter and cheese. Very simple but very delicious. Some advice that my doctor personally told me to work out at least five times a week. It doesn't have to be something too intense. At least just move around your body, have enough physical activity. I was still taking it very easy. I did some walk and fast walk. And actually I did a little bit of running thrown in there for like 10 minutes and then slowly pacing down to fast walk and walk again and after that I did some stretching so I think the main thing that caused my neck and shoulder pain was because I work a lot on my desk writing, painting, looking down like that for a long period of time work on my laptop a lot without even realizing it I usually do this my shoulder get tense so I need to remember to relax my shoulders and sit straight and not crunch my shoulders too much most of the time I usually spend 2-3-4 hours on my desk with no rest at all so now instead of pushing through 4 hours sitting in front of a desk I need to take 15-30 to 30 minutes of rest in between like every 2 hours at least so I found this video here on YouTube it's a 15 minutes yoga that you can do everywhere anywhere you want I did this already in the morning after my treadmill stretching session yoga it's very quick simple and easy really stretch your body out at the end of that you will feel much better I felt all the tightness in my neck and shoulders was kind of relief a little bit I feel more relaxed and more loose in my this area I'm going to link that video down below after my yoga I decided to take a very relaxing long hot shower shave my legs scrub my body and just do the whole thing it was very relaxing I feel so fresh and energized my skin feels a lot softer it's a good mini pamper session after two weeks of rest not doing much stuff after that I was just getting ready put in my contact lens putting in a bit of makeup something a mail came a package that I've been waiting for a couple of days actually four months and this right here just came in the mail 
Taylor Swift cardigan the cardigan so they didn't ship to my country which is why i have to get this from a reseller which makes this even more expensive than it already is but there's nothing i can do about it so i decided to just go for it and it's been months since folklore and cardigan was released it's like six months to get here so this is how it looks it's way too oversized because i bought this in xl size i think i i didn't know what i was thinking but i really want this cardigan to be oversized and just comfortable and you can just you know but it's just way too big by the way don't mind my choice of clothing for today but i just want to be super comfortable and chill i have this again very oversized t-shirt with australia written on it and i have my hogwarts harry potter pjs it came in a set but i didn't want to wear the shirt because it has a long sleeve this is how the cardigan looks it's not a real wall but it kind of feels like one it's quite soft it doesn't feel scratchy or uncomfortable to the skin it feels quite soft a bit heavy actually it really feels like a good quality i like the color I really love it. I knew when I saw you didn't care about the party. Wishing all of these people would just head out so we can talk. I could tell by the smile when you asked where to write your name on my wall. Wish I met you at 16, wish I could have taken you to prom So let's talk about the other things that hopefully can help to fix my poster in front of my laptop Yesterday I ordered some stuff, some accessories for my laptop I bought a laptop stand, looks like this, it's already there on my laptop I will show you in a second but every time I saw someone buy a laptop stand, include them in MacBook <laughs> accessories or anything i always think oh that looks interesting but does it really helps to prevent neck pain and all of that but i was like i just i didn't see any point of getting them until obviously <laughs> i experienced it myself and i was like dang it now i need to buy them and since the laptop stand that i bought it elevates the macbook quite high if i use them and use them to edit videos or anything like that it will be very uncomfortable for my hand for my wrist now instead of just buying the stand i also need to buy a keyboard and a mouse they are even more expensive and <laughs> i bought them here i always want to try these two right here especially the keyboard because a lot of people said such great things about it because it has a quick connect system with just a click of a button works simultaneously with your macbook phone ipad besides they look really just aesthetically pleasing i love watching ipad unboxing for some reason because i really want an ipad and i always thought to myself one day when i finally buy an ipad i will buy that keyboard and the mouse and here i am before having an ipad already buy them so this is what my macbook setup currently looks like i don't know if you can see the leg but i just love the way it looks how simple it is and it looks very very sturdy it's actually quite heavy the plate in the bottom here that props the macbook is very wide instead of just two little bars i have the macbook pro the old ones and i don't know if it's heavier or lighter than the newer version but since my laptop isn't very light i decided to buy this it's a similar color and material to macbook that i have it looks like an imac leg as you can see this is the keyboard and this is the mouse it's also quite silent very comfortable to type it looks very sleek and small but it's actually not that light it has some weight to it so feels sturdy and just feels really good quality i mean it's not that cheap either i was going back and forth between the white one or this one but i decided to get this one just to match 
with some decor piece that I have on my desk. I was just too afraid that the white one will get dirty really fast. But the color looks really pretty. And then this is the mouse. It's very light. Very silent as well. It has magnetic closer. So it's quite easy to open. And quite easy to close. Hopefully now I can work on my desk with a better posture. I don't have to look down like this. I can just look up straight into my the screen of my MacBook. And just like the last vlog, I actually vlogged this on a Monday. So I will have another piano lessons in a couple of hours. But for now, I will maybe edit this video, some of the footage that I have filmed. And also maybe journal a little bit do my scripting manifestation journal i've been doing this for the past two months but somehow i forgot last night because i was so tired <laughs> And all of these people would just head out so we can talk I could tell by the smile when you asked where to write your name on my wall Wish I met you at 16, wish I could have taken you to prom Just as I about to have my piano lesson, the rain starts pouring down like crazy I mean, can you tell? I, I think you can tell the sound It's a really big I hope it's gonna stop soon. My piano lesson went way better than my previous one the rain actually stopped just as i was about to start my lesson which is like we manifested bright sky and a clear quiet moment and we got that so that was great and then after that i was just laying down on the couch had my dinner because i had quite a full very filling lunch and dessert i just ate grilled banana topped it off with some peanut butter and cheese i don't know if it's a good healthy food for me but it's really really good and i i just can't stop eating them so that's what i ate for dinner with some mint tea and then i spent like two hours just watching tv with my mom i rarely watch tv nowadays my mom was like obsessed with this tv series and she pretty much got me hooked on it too so yeah i spent like two hours watching that so now since it's almost 9 pm i'm just going to wash my face and take off my contact lens because this has been on my eyes for hours it started to feel a little bit uncomfortable and after that i'm just going to do some journaling this is my gratitude journal i'm also going to fill in my habit and mood tracker for the day i do that in notion now which if you haven't seen my last video i did a notion tour i'm going to link that video down below just in case you want to see and after that i think i'm just going to try to finish this book right here city of girls by elizabeth gilbert elizabeth gilbert i have like this much left my goal was to finish this in january but now it's already february and yeah but i'm not a fast reader if i read something interesting i usually go over it read it over and over again a couple of times i don't know why and since this is such a thick book it took me more than a month to finish this i think i'm going to try to finish the rest of this book today so i can read another book these two books right here i already bought this like a year ago and for some reason i never able to finish this i've only read like the first five chapter but i'm going to try to finish this this month i think or 
maybe after this one i don't know i'm still debating over that but other than that i think there's nothing left for me to do tonight so i think i'm just going to finish this vlog here i'm so sorry if this vlog is a little bit i don't know all over the place or, or a little bit boring but i'm still trying to get the hang of vlogging basically because this is my second vlog ever i just want to vlog more and more so i can do better at it i hope i can improve over time and let me know down below what books you are currently reading right now i need some suggestion what books should i read next i hope you have a great day and if you like this vlog don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel that will help me a lot that will mean so much to me and lastly i just want to say thank you so much for watching and i hope i can see you in my next video bye